Hello YouTube, this is Rhino Dan, and I'm going to talk about the cheapest and the easiest way you can replace the rear shock on the R3. We put on a Ninja 650R shock onto the R3, which is better than stock. We're going to do the rear first. The recording of it. So, watch how much the rear uh, compresses. You can see here how much the rear shock compressed or sagged okay. on the we normal the R3 with maximum preload. So this right here is showing you with maximum preload on the R3 because only has five clicks, with my weight, basically anybody over 140 pounds, what the bike's gonna do. So this is my bike with the Ninja 650 R shock, and you can see how little the bike sagged compared to the R the stock R3 one. Why this is important is because when you're in, if your bike has a lot of sag, your suspension's not in the middle where it needs to be. We went out and spent $50 on eBay for the Ninja 650R shock. I spent $50 because I wanted to get the green one and it looked like it was brand new. You can spend as little as $15 to $30 on eBay to get one if they're beat up or older bikes. All it has to do is come off the Ninja 650R bike and it will work. You can get the spacers that needed to make the conversion work from Yamaha Arts R3 Racing. I will leave a link below. That's all it takes. And the reason why this is better than the OEM, as you can see in the previous segment, other than the SAG, is that the Ninja 650R is a heavier bike. And it has way more adjustment. The, the R3 only has five clicks. This has like 20 something clicks of preload adjustment. And for you heavier riders, anybody over 140 pounds, I highly suggest it. It's going to give you a better rear shock, more dampening, and as you can see as a 300 pound rider, it's doing me pretty good right here. It's the cheapest way, so for 50, let's say 80 bucks, I was able to replace the wimpy R3 rear shock and I was able to get it something that was way better. Anyway, this is my video. Thanks, guys. Let me know if it helps you at all. It's helping me quite a bit, and I'm really liking the way that the rear shock turned out for me. Thank you. I'll be making another video on how we installed it. It was done really rushed at its Keith Code clinic, and everything had to be put in place in about a few days, so we didn't get a chance to film it. But we're going to go back and revisit probably next week. And then in a couple weeks, I'll throw up on how we installed the Kawasaki Ninja 650R shock on the R3. That's it, guys. This is my video. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, I'll make a review video on my suspension setup later. I want to get more miles on the bike first. But as you can see in the video right here, it's doing me pretty well. Thank you.